Uh, so hi everyone. So originally this was called uh, gas pricing, and so we put this about six months ago, and I was to show you a thing on how we're going to price different gas assets. In short, gas assets we have no idea how to price them. In short, like we basically we look at the screen of prices and we say, oh, that seems a little low, that seems a little high. We just kind of manually tweak it up and down. So uh, we're trying to make that better, uh, but uh, we don't have that ready yet. So because we were focusing on Casper. So, uh, so, uh, so I'll, I'll be showing you sort of a list of cool things that we, we've been working on uh, for the past six months. Um, and hopefully we'll have gas pricing for you next time. So I'll kind of show you what we got so far. Um, so really the, the big change in gas that we want to change is this thing called rent. So there's a big problem. Is this working? OK, wait. Yeah, so there's a big problem is that, so right now in Ethereum storage and in Bitcoin as well, uh, we, you, you'll pay once, but you get the storage forever. And in short, that's just not sustainable. And uh, so right now in Bitcoin, it's, it's, it's not that big of a deal because the amount of storage they're doing is, uh, is, is just so low. The problem is that in Ethereum, people can make extremely storage-heavy contracts. So it makes it makes a lot more possible for people just to break this. Like um, small uh, economic misalignments make it. Uh, people can like really exploit them on Ethereum. So in short, we have to be a lot more aggressive about this. But anyway, um, so the idea behind rent is so when you when you when you put down a big thing of storage, you basically pay per block. And if you and if you eventually uh, r run out of money, uh, your contract gets deleted. And yep, I know that kind of sucks, and I know all of you are going to hate it. But you know, what are you going to do? <laughs> so, um, so, so we, we do have one other idea that might actually solve it. And Vitalik, we talked about today, high recommend it, brand new idea. They're called stateless clients. Um, do I have it? Oh, well, here, here. So, so, so okay, those are called, called, called uh, stateless clients. Um, it's sort of, sort of a, a, a brand new idea. Uh, basically, uh, so basically with this, you wouldn't need any rent at all. Uh, but, the, but the size of transactions goes up about 20x. Uh, and there's some new DDoS vectors. Um, we don't quite know if this is worth it. Uh, basically, the idea, it basically it depends on uh, which, which one increases more quickly. So, BAM, so we did some calculations here. Bandwidth doubles every three and a half years. As hard drives double a little bit faster, but storage I.O. doesn't seem to increase much at all, or at least linearly. And so we look at these and we say, oh, well, you know, well, well, it'll be harder to DOS this than it will be to DOS that. And so therefore, we, so therefore we, should, we, we want the big fat uh, uh, stateless transactions. But anyway, if you want to learn all about this, it's these maximally light clients. It's sort of a new idea. Um, we're, we're still talking about it. But, but in short, you're going to have to either deal with uh, these 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 light clients. We're going to deal with rent. So I don't know. We're thinking about it. If if, if you have any uh, any data on um, on on how storage and storage I/O increases in time, that would really help because you know we want to know like how hard this thing is 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 to DOS. All right. So that's the first thing. The second thing is Casper. Uh, you've been hearing about Casper all friggin' day. In short, Casper's great. Um, so here's the great things about Casper. I mean, I, I know like proof of stake doesn't, I mean, people are often a little conflicted about it. No, nah, man, proof of stake is freaking awesome. So the, but, but, but the best thing about, about proof of stake is that, that you gain a vastly bigger stick to beat people with. So here's the idea. So in, in Bitcoin, uh, miners, miners uh, they behave because they want to get future rewards from the, from, from the, from the block rewards. Or, and, it's, and the more they have good behavior, the more they can do this. In, in proof of stake, it's much more explicit. It, it, like, 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 it gives, like, like, like it gives you like, um, like, like you can imagine it's like, a, um, I, like if they do something naughty, you can like beat them with like a, with like a million dollar stick. Like immediately, and you're just like you know, and it's like, and you just can't do that in Bitcoin. Like, like you know, so you can imagine sort of like a block reward is kind of like a carrot, where you can like you know make the cow kind of come your way. You're like, oh, isn't it great? You know, but with proof of stake, you kind of have a ring around its nose, and you go, yeah, you know, you can like really get it to do what you want it to do. Um, so, base proof of stake's great. Uh, we can also have vastly lower inflation rates. So, in proof of work mining, uh, the biggest cost are both your mining rigs and they are your electricity. And in proof of stake, both of those get set to zero. And you're like, yeah. So now we can make pay you like 99% like less. You know? And they're going to put up with it because, 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 because their costs are just so much lower. So, you know, and it's great. So, so, so and this means a, 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 a lower inflation rate for all of us. And we all love low inflation, low, low inflation rates. 
The other one is that um, it, it's, it's sort of, it's sort of it, it, it kills mining cartels while they're in the cradle. So in Bitcoin, let's have trouble with mining cart with basically the mining pools having different incentives than the dev team, and like we all know about that. Um, one nice thing about this is is that uh, in proof of stake, there's no sunk cost into the rig. So the problem with with the with the, with the Bitcoin miners is that they've already put in like hundreds of thousands of dollars into these rigs, and like they just can't. I mean, I mean, they can't just change. Like, I mean, they, no, really, they are locked in. They are locked in. So, so that's what they will fight tooth and nail. One nice thing about, about proof of stake is that, that there are no mining rigs. So as a result, you know, you know if, if there's some, some problem, uh, you're not locked in and you can always go somewhere else. You can always go invest in like a mutual fund or something. Anyway, proof of stakes, great. So, um, yeah, so, so this, this is the most, most recent paper uh, by Vitalik and myself. Uh, in short, we are like 95% happy with it. Uh, so right now it is, a, it is a hybrid proof of stake and proof of work model. We want to switch to a full proof of stake model. We're not exactly sure how to do that yet, but we have some ideas and hopefully next year we'll have one for you. Uh, people often ask, when is this going to go into the main chain? Uh, we don't know yet. Uh, when it's ready, basically. Um, but regardless, it's getting increasingly ready and, uh, and, we're, and, we're, and we're proving, proving the theorems about it. Um, I think there's a, there's a Casper testnet coming up. I probably, you probably don't want to play with it, but in short, this this thing is growing, and um, and we think it's great. Like we we see there's basically no downsides. All right. Um, so social stuff. So this is kind of fun thing we've been do, doing along the side. Yeah. Fun fact. Um, Ether seems to be more halal than Bitcoin. Um, so so uh, so I know, so while while reading about Casper and things like that, I was reading about sort of the the, the history of, um, of of financial regulations. Very hot subject, I know, like like riveting. And um, and also reading about is, is Islamic finance. A lot of the rules are actually really interesting if you're just curious. But anyway, so one of the rules they have for their currency is that your currency has to be quote quote intrinsically valuable. And um, yeah, so so they prefer things like like barrels of oil or like cell phone minutes over say like U.S. dollars. And, and sometimes you even see Islamic finance companies use cell phone minutes instead of using say USD because because it's intrinsically valuable. Well, you can like consume it. And I say, oh, well, Ether's kind of like that. You can use it to power programs, and that's different than Bitcoin. And so I, so I, so I showed this to one of my, my, one of my, one of my I, I don't know much about Malaysian finance, but I read a little bit about it. I showed it to, 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 my, to my Malaysian banking buddy, and he's like, that might actually be true. And I was just like, wow, really? And so, um, so yeah, so, so, so we, we are currently in process to even get Ether uh, classified 100% Sharia compliant. So, you know, if you're in your Sharia society, yeah, yeah, so you can, you, you can do that. Um, here's because this is just this is kind of amusing. Uh, so this is a new Bitcoin um, currency symbol. So uh, no one really likes the little, the little, the little, the little triple, the little triple, triple lines, the little the Chinese sun. Um, no one likes that. Uh, so I was going to say, oh well, we make. So uh, oh, oh, by the way, we have a new logo. Do you all know about that yet? Oh sorry, we have a new logo. This is our new logo. Uh, basically the same as the old one, but it's it's flatter now. But otherwise, same thing. But anyway, so we're going to propose this as, as, as a new, new, new currency symbol for, for, for Ether. But unfortunately, this is not yet in Unicode. So we get a little black diamond. So in short, if you want to try a new logo, you can use the black diamond. All right. Um, so here's some other things. So we have a whole bunch of, of, of new research projects. And we finally wrote down what all of our research does. It's all right there. And this is sort of a, a call for volunteers. If you're interested in doing work in any of this stuff, uh, there's more details there. You can send me an email about it, and we'll see if we can hook you up. Um, yep, we're open source, and people often ask, where can I contribute? Well, that's where. Um, probably the cool stuff about this is, is that you get to hang out, uh, that you get to um, uh, chat with myself and Vitalik and other, and other kind of smart people, and people kind of like that. So we can give you that. All right. Um, so here are some fun things. So I also work on the, the Ethereum name service in, in ICANN. So we, all, so we, we had the, the .eth thing. So in short, what we want to do, we, we want to make these accessible via, the, um, via the, the global DNS hierarchy. So we want to be able to type in something like, you know, example.eth, that have it type, and be able to type it into a browser and have it work. Uh, the pro first problem, um, .eth is actually owned by Ethiopia. So you can't actually use that one. I know, I didn't know that either. But you know, but it is. Um, you know, so we actually considered holding holding DevCon 4 in Ethiopia, you know, so that we could get this, but you know, but there was, a, I mean, it seems to be a non-starter. But you know, hey, if y'all, I mean, I'm down for it if y'all are. Um, so, okay, so, uh, so another thing is, so, so, so we, 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 we pitched this to ICANN, we just have sent a representative to the big ICANN meeting. It was actually yesterday. 
Um, it was in um, um, uh, Abu Dhabi, and they basically, basically have really strict rules about basically on, on take, take away, about taking away domains. So if you get Coca-Cola.eth, Coca-Cola wants me to take it away from you. And in short, like if you want to be resolvable via the big by the big DNS namespace, you just you just you just got to accept this. Sorry, just the way the world is. And um, so we were proposing that we could have um, multiple zones. So we could have like we had the regular .eth where it really is like first come, first serve. And then we have, you know, like, like, like dot compliant or whatever, where, 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 where we comply with all the regular stuff that like, like, like dot com does. And so, and, but you can, you can have like different zones. So if you want to have like, like a regular name, you know, in like, in like dot anarchy, you can have that. And if you want to have a name inside a nice place, you, know, you, get, you get visible. Uh, one nice thing about this is, so, 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 uh, so we had a lovely meeting with ICANN. A bit to my surprise, they seem actually, actually, actually pretty chill with all of us doing this. So uh, they proposed uh, that we get a place in this thing called .arpa. You probably haven't seen .arpa before because there's only like six domains on it in the entire world. But in short, this is, um, this is, this is, this is the, the, um, the internet infrastructure testing ground. So the idea is that you'll be able to register, you know, example.eth.arpa, and you'll be able to like put stuff on it and have it resolve and go places. Um, odds are likely that y'all will probably do something really terrible there and then we'll eventually be kicked out. But you know, but like, please try and restrain yourselves. Um, because I um, mean, just just restrain yourselves. Um, uh, but, you know, but, 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 but really, the good part is so. For example, uh, so basically, if we succeed there, then we'll, then we'll have a case that if we want to get something, you know, like 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 dot Ethereum or something like that, which actually works in the big space, uh, it's much harder for them to tell us no because before they say, oh, we can't give this to you because you're going to break the internet, and they say, oh, we're not going to break the internet because we successfully graduated from your sort of dot ARPA uh, test bed. Um, yeah, so anyway, so, so those, those are kinds of the, uh, the cool things. Uh, there will be a, a, a few more announcements about ENS uh, from Nick uh, uh, tomorrow at 5. Recommend that. Um, in, in short, uh, you'll, 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 you'll be able to register uh, uh, real domains on, on Ethereum uh, sooner than you'd think. So, but I can't tell you about it. All right. So, uh, so, this, so this is something else I made. So, so, so everyone loves oracles. Uh, so I made one using, using, the, using the, the, the Wolfram language. And I want to show that to you. And you can ask a lot of cool things about it. So uh, let's, just, let's just do one. So I was interested in doing um, prediction marks. We've all used like, like Wolfram Alpha. You've probably seen that. Uh, this is like Wolfram Alpha on steroids. So I'll, I'll, I'll show it to you. Can we do, um, can we do the, can, we, can you give me access now? Oh, there I am. Hello, that's me. Okay, so check this out. I guess I'll make this work. All right, here. So, so we'll just, we'll just, we'll just click this thing here. So you can do things like, um, like what is the price of gold? Is the price of gold in September 2016? Something like that. Give a question mark, and it will go. So okay, so, so you can input in free text or input in Wolfram language. So here's the real magic here. The real magic here is that, is, 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 is that so then what this does is this converts uh, a natural language expression to a Wolfram language expression. This Wolfram language just now becomes an object that you can directly query. So what you can do is you can take this little entity thing, you can copy it, and you can like paste it into here, boop, and you hit the submit button. What? Oh, come on. <laughs> Wait, that should work, right? Oh, come on. All right, well, let's just do it on this one. Uh, let's just do, when, when, when is the next, next, next Haley's Comet? I should be able to do that one. Okay, wait a minute, is the internet here not working? Staff, that should work. All right, let's do this one. Okay, can we factor integer? You should just do a bit of factor integer. All right, well, this is, this is, this is not going well. All right, let's try, let's try, let's, let's, let me try, try one more. So factor integer 27. Well, actually, let's, just, let's do a big one. All right. Well, you know, serves me right for doing for for for, for doing uh, doing a lot on stage. Basically, this basically I'm gonna go off stage. And I'm gonna make this work. Uh, in short, and it'll probably work within like five minutes. Um, yeah, I don't I don't know I don't know what the issue is. Well, anyway, here's basically the deal. The dealio here. Let's 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 go back to the PowerPoint. Can we can we go back? Maybe? All right. 
Let me just keep trying this. Are these still working? Yeah, all right. Well, I don't know what the issue is. Okay, next. Okay, so we're supposed to see, all right, all right. So, so, so basically the gist is that, um, that so, so, so you, you, you can execute, so you can get these queries, so you input this factor integer, and it will factor it for you, like, right there. So you can, like, outsource hard computation. So you can do something like, you, you can ask, you know, you, you know, what was the price? So you can say, oh, like, invert this matrix, or, 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 or interpolate this polynomial, and it will just do it for you. So anytime you have a gas-intensive computation, you can, you, you, you can just ask it, or you can just ask Wolfram, and it will tell it to you. And we can also ask, we can also do um, prediction market things. So you can ask, you know, so okay, the, the cool, is it, can we still not get, get, get the PDF? All right, great. All right, so here's kind of the idea what you can do here. All right, so here's the idea. So you, so you, you can type in sort of a natural language query, and you get this Wolfram entity object out of it. And so, and this, and this is like a piece of code that you can type in, and it tells you very precisely what you mean. And so, so, and you can like look this up for anything. So the idea is you could say, oh, you could change this thing to like 2017 and put it like on the 12th. And you can say, and you can put this, put this into a prediction market for the price of gold. And um, that's, that's like basically the idea. Uh, so, and it, but it has, uh, has an extremely sophisticated, well, as, as extremely, it has a very elaborate grammar. So you can say, oh, you know, how many murders created in the United States? And it has, look, oh, guess what? There's a query for exactly that. And it has a query for like all kinds of things. Um, right, and you can also ask it things like, like who's the Prime Minister of Singapore and stuff like that. So um, I think, so, uh, well, yeah, this, is, this, is, this is basically the gist. So basically, basically this gives you a way to number one, uh, query, query outside data in a, in a very generic way, and number two gives you the idea of outsourcing very high gas computation, like inverting matrices or, or knowing a number is prime, or factoring a prime number, or interpolating a polynomial. So you can give it data points on a polynomial, and you can say, oh, oh, what is a function that fits these? And it will just tell it to you. All right. Um, so, so these are so these are the uh, so these are the things that we're interested in now. Uh, if you're interested in helping me out, these are things that are great. So we're looking for research volunteers. We're looking for trends on storage and storage I/O, and you can also use the, use use the cool black diamond for your ether symbol. And if you want to play with, with, with Wolfram language, you can do it at uh, warracle.virtual.gr. And that should be working probably within three minutes. All right. That's all I got. <laughs>